Hey guys, how's it going? So I want to show you my uh, acquisitions from my most recent um, beer exploration. Went to Dallas, Texas, which is a city just a couple of hours away from me, and uh, did some really interesting stuff. One of the big things, and I'll show you this at the later end of the video, is just some pictures documenting the whole trip. We went to the local brewery there called Deep Ellum Brewing. Um, picked up some really cool stuff, including these... Uh, Deep Ellum Pale Ale um, pint glasses. We went to do a brewery tour. It was really cool. They gave us the pint glasses, got to sample their beers, had a live band. It was a lot of fun. And I'll show you some pictures and videos documenting that and the entire trip. But the main thing is, is I picked out some really great beer and I just want to show you what I got. And then I'll show you a little slideshow after this of the pictures and the videos. So, to begin, from um, Lexington or All Tex Lexington Brewery, we have Kentucky Bourbon Barrel Stout. Comes in at 8% ABV. It's a stout brewed with coffee and aged in oak barrels with Haitian coffee. Sounds delicious. I'll probably review one for you guys in cellar and age um, the other four. Here we have from Deep Ellum Brewery. Um, their Numb Comfort Barley Wine. This beer, as far as ABV goes, it does not say on it. I don't think what the ABV is, but it's a barley wine. It has a pretty long description, but um, the label art just looks really awesome on it, and I love barley wines, so we'll see what their barley wine is all about. Um, I'll research into it and find out the ABV, but being a barley wine, I'm sure I'll be able to age that one for a little bit as well. Up next, from Left Hand Brewery, we have another one of their Nitro series. This is Left Hand Brewery's Sawtooth Nitro. And on the back it just says, super smooth, nutty malt flavors balanced by her herbal hops. It's only 5.3%, so I don't plan to age this one. But um, I'm guessing it's going to be kind of like one of those brown hazelnut ones. Um, not sure. It's probably going to be really tasty, though. And it's the nitro, and I love the way they do their nitro beers. So that should be something really interesting. Moving right along, we have something kind of legendary here. Here is Dogfish Head 75-Minute IPA. Really hard to find. This beer comes in at 7.5% ABV, and it is a bottle-conditioned India Pale Ale with maple syrup. Now, that sounds interesting. Really cool label art on the bottle here, as you can see. And um, not sure if I'm going to sell her this or not. It does say it's bottle-conditioned. I'll look into that, and I may, you know, sell her this one too, but there's Dogfish 75. Up next, two really interesting beers from Rogue Brewery. Here is Rogue's Double Chocolate Stout. Really cool bottle. It's like painted or something. And basically this is like their chocolate stout, which is one of my favorite stouts. And this is just doubled up and it has some other added good flavors in it. Um, I really cannot wait to try this one. Um, so there's Rogue's Double Chocolate Stout. Now here we have something weird by Rogue Brewery. Every year Rogue does their Voodoo Donut series where they make just an off the wall crazy beer. Um, I believe Voodoo Donuts is like a, um, probably a local uh, donut shop for them and they do like collaboration. This year is Voodoo Donut Pretzel Raspberry and Chocolate. Pretzel Raspberry and Chocolate. And reading on the back in the 13 ingredients they used it does say pretzels I don't know, sounds weird and interesting, cannot wait to try this one out. Clocks in only at, um, oh, let's see here, 5.4%, so I'll have to drink this one in a timely manner, so that one will be coming up pretty soon. Uh, we're starting to get into some more legendary things here. Here is from Rar and Sons Brewery, which is based out of Fort Worth, also very close to me. They're bourbon barrel aged winter warmer. This is supposed to be pretty legendary. Does not say the ABV on the bottle, but it is their 2013 Christmas seasonal, so I was very fortunate to get this since it's summertime right now. But from what I can tell, it's a bourbon barrel aged, um, probably a stout. It just says dark malts and English hops, bourbon barrel aged. English style dark ale so we'll see but this should be really good um, this was suggested to me by a friend he's like you have to try this so I've got to try it <laughs> all right now we're getting down to the ridge really really awesome stuff 
Actually, let me show you this one. One more by Deep Ellum. Picked up a six pack of their um, double brown stout. Had this on tap in their little um, their tap room at Deep Ellum Brewery, and it was a fantastic stout. So I had to try it out of the can and from a store and see if it's as good or not. So there's another one from Deep Ellum for you. Um, I was really excited to, f to find this. As you know, stouts are my favorite beers, and Founders is my favorite brewery. I found Founders Imperial Stout. I've been looking for this one. This clocks in at a whopping 10.5% ABV, 90 IBUs, incredibly bitter. I mean, that's up there with like Arrogant Bastard and stuff and bitterness. Cannot wait to try this beer. Um, I'll drink one. I'm going to sell her the other three for sure. Here's something super legendary, Dogfish Head's Burton Baton, I believe is how it's pronounced. And this is an Oak Age Imperial India Pale Ale. So this is an Oak Age IPA, clocks in once again at a whopping 10%. And it says this special ale is a two-thread blend of young and young and wood age Imperial IPA. And I believe this could probably be cellared too, but I only have one, so I'm just gonna review it for you guys. Um, Two more items, and then we're going to come to the final two items, which are just mind-blowingly awesome. Here from Oma Gang, we have their Chocolate Seduction. Uh, I love Oma Gang so far. Everything they've done has been amazing, and this just sounds great. It's a chocolate lover's dream stout, basically. And it says Belgian-style stout brewed with real Belgian chocolate. Cannot wait to try this beer. Coming on around to the end, here we have from Great Divide Brewing, I've had their Yeti Imperial Stout. Here's their Chocolate Oak Aged Yeti. This is going to be a much stronger version of their Imperial Stout with those great, I'm assuming, oak barrel bourbon notes in it. I'm a sucker for anything oak or bourbon barrel aged, so this should be a real treat. And this clocks in at 9.5%, uh, pretty high up there. Now for the final two. Both of these are incredibly legendary, but I'm going to save the best of them for last. Here we have Dogfish Head's 120 minute IPA. This beer clocks in at an absolutely mind-blowing 18% alcohol by volume. I mean, do you realize that if you cut this bottle in half, that's basically like whiskey that you're drinking because most whiskey clocks in around 40%. And this is almost 20%, so it's half. Half the bottle, whiskey. That's crazy. This is just supposed to be their absolute most legendary IPA, one of their most legendary brews. It says, what you have here is the holy grail for hop heads. This beer is continually hopped for over a 120 minute boil and then dry hopped for over a month. Enjoy now or age for a decade or so. Specifically says right here, age as well. I bought two of them, gonna drink one now. Gonna set that other one in there for a couple years, hopefully. And now we come to the last beer and you may be wondering what could possibly top that. Well, I'd never heard of this before. But before I talk about beer, let me talk about scotch for a second. I'm a big Scotch fan. I'm not going to start doing Scotch reviews or anything. Trust me, I'm not near as well versed in that. But I wanted to show you guys my favorite Scotch whiskey. This is Highland Park, 12 year. Now, I like the other variants too, but 12 year is just the standard. And um, it is my favorite whiskey of all time. I've tried numerous, you know, Glen Morangy, um, Glen Fittick, Glen Rothless, Brook Laddie, Bunahaben, um, McAllen, Ardbeg, all of, I've tried a lot of them. Highland Park is just my go-to. So balanced, lots of flavors, whatever. But I want you to notice that logo there, okay? Now, how do you think I felt whenever I saw this little boxed single bottle beer that said ale matured? in Highland Park casks. This is apparently something really special. This is Harvestun, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, 30th Anniversary Limited Special Edition Reserve. This is their Ola Dub, and I'm probably pronouncing that wrong too. Ale matured in Highland Park whiskey casks. This unique bottling has been produced in a very small batch. That's the way we have done things for the last three decades at Harvey Astoon, and the way we plan to do them for a good deal longer than that. And then it even says Highland Park right down there at the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and read everything on this one since it's so special. It says, Highland Park is one of the world's most respected single malts. 
when American drinks guru F. Paul Picult published a list of the top 110 spirits in the world, Highland Park 18-year-old was at the top of the list. In fact, it's an accolade Highland Park's been awarded twice. That's a tough one to beat. However, in 2013, for the first ever 100-point score was achieved by Highland Park 25-year-old at the Ultimate Spirits Challenge, resulting in Highland Park taking the Chairman's Trophy for Best of Category. These accolades are no fluke. Respect has to be earned, and more than 200 years of distilling tradition, attention to detail, and honesty at Highland Park achieves just that. Our whiskey is made with the same enduring belief and integrity to the same exacting standards as it has been since 1798. That's why it is the most respected single malt in the world. Like Harvey Stoon, we are passionate about tradition and obsessed by quality. Jerry Tosh, Global Marketing Manager of Highland Park. Harvest Stoon Brewery. Now in our 30th year, Harvest Stoon Brewery has an unrivaled reputation for innovation, creativity, and master craftsmanship. Ola Dube, or Black Oil, is the result of a unique collaboration between ourselves and Highland Park the best spirit in the world. Ola Dube Ale. Every bottle of this extremely limited release Ola Dube 30th Anniversary Ale has been individually numbered. Our ale has been aged for up to six months in first fill sherry butts, formerly used to mature Highland Park's award-winning 30-year-old single malt scotch whiskey. These hand-selected butts add subtle whiskey notes to what is already a complex ale with its chocolatey mouthfeel and distinctive bittersweet finish. The high ABV has been deliberately created to stand up to and blend with the intense wood uh, intensity of flavor created by the infused wood. Why not settle down with a glass and tell us if you think we have delivered something a wee bit special? You can have your comments on Twitter at Harvestoon Brew. You can also learn more about our other delicious craft beers at harvestoon.com. So obviously, we're dealing with something very special here. Just to open the box and show you this, I mean, look at this. Look at that. It's got like a metal charm hanging on it, foil up here. It's been hand signed by the master brewer, the master of wood. It's been individually numbered. Comes in at 8% ABV, which is actually a little bit low for what, I, what it is, but, um, you know, whatever. <laughs> um, so... Being from my favorite scotch distillery in the world, I couldn't pass this up as a craft beer drinker. So there you guys go. That has been the entire craft beer haul. I think I just got some amazing stuff in. Cannot wait to start drinking it and reviewing it for you guys. And now, let's take a look at my brew exploration journey right now.